Hello everyone. In my previous video, I showed how we could create our own online tests and questionnaires by the help of the Google Forms tool provided by Google Drive. Today, I'm going to show how we can create our digital testing materials and exercises by the help of this hot potato software. I'm sure that maybe most of you, you might have already found some websites that contain some online tests and exercises. Of course, there are many tools that we can use to create that kind of websites and online tests, but Hot Potatoes is really very simple and easy to use and it is free. We don't pay for it. It's not a it's not a new tool, but it's really popular. So what we need to do is to just go to Google and write hot potatoes. And then you should see this web website here. When we click and when we scroll down, we will see this downloads hot potatoes 6.3 installer. So when you click on it, the install should start shortly and then I'm just going to skip that part because I already have it installed here and when you install it you will see this icon all right and it means that we are ready to work with hot potatoes just double click and here it is hot potatoes allows us to create five different types of questions and then this measure, it helps us to create a kind of index page or main page where we can put all these questions and exercises or whatever we create here. And then it will create a page where all of them are generated here. Uh, the titles of all these things that we create by these five types of questions will be on one page. And when we click on them, we will directly go to the related pages. So let's start with close. When we click on this, we will see a new screen. I'm just, we need to write the title. I'm just going to write close test. And then here, you know what close test is? It is creating gaps to let people fill in these gaps. So it can be any kind of paragraph or it can be the lyrics of of a song maybe I already have some lyrics here so I'm just going to copy and paste it there okay right so now I'm going to select the words that I want to leave empty or make them a blank for the students or for the people to to fill in now okay sleep you just highlight the word and then click gap if you want you can write a clue here if you want you can write alternative correct answers maybe it might be possible to fill with uh, some other words that can replace sleep but for now for now I'm just going to click OK and then I'm going to select the other words that I'm going to create gaps OK queue up gap OK queue up gap OK down gap Okay. Ground. Okay. We are just highlighting the words that we want to create gaps and then do the same thing.
All right. So we are ready. Now, whenever we work with any of these question types, we will always see that kind of new window when you click on it. And we need to do two things. First, we need to save our project. Okay, we just need to click here and we need to save it. And again, I'm going to save it here in my folder. Whatever I do, I save it in the same folder if I want it to, to work properly. All right, so be sure that you save everything in the same folder. All pictures, anything that you use, save them in the same folder because we, can, we will use them later. So I'm just going to write close here for the name of the project. And now I saved it. It should be here now in my right. Here it is, the, fire, the, the blue one. For each of these question types, it will give me a different color. For close, it is blue, as you see. All right, so I'm ready. I have saved my project. Now, the second thing that I have to do is to create my web page. Actually, this is the, the thing that I'm going to use, my web page. I need web pages that I can maybe install in my web blog or I can save it in my Google Drive and then I can give the link and then you know I can use it. So I need to click this one, this icon, and then I need to give it again, again a name. Close again in the same folder. Okay. Now, first I'm going to save my project file. Second, I'm going to create a web page file. And then now I can check how my exercise will look. All right, here it is. Close test, get field exercise. There are some explanations here. And then maybe I can turn on the song and I can ask my students to, to fill in the gaps. Okay. We are allowed to install these buttons here, check and hint. So if our students ask for a hint, maybe they can just click on this and the first letter will be given. Right? They can go with this hint. You see? So maybe. And then check. Right. It is correct. But if you don't want to give these buttons here, if you don't want them, want uh, to provide them with some hints, then you have an option. You need to click on this. By the way, this is same for all of these five question types. This menu here, this icon, when we click on it, right, we will see this one. So these are all customized. Well, you know, you can customize these. You can write anything you want, like exercise one. And the explanations, you can delete them. You can write whatever you like. It is possible. Then, for each question that is done correctly by the students, you can give that kind of feedback, correct, well done, or something else. Okay, you can change all these, your score or your note, your mark. Then buttons. As I said, if you don't want to include that hint or clue or check button, you just need to turn this off. So the button will not appear on that screen. All right. There are different options here. Next page, etc. Appearance. Now this is how my how my here it is by the way, my web page. Here it is. How I see my page, my exercise page. Now if I want to change the appearance of this, it is very easy to do. We just need to change the colors here. Navigation bar color, for example. You can make it any other color. Let's say green. And we say, okay, 
see the color has changed page background color we can make it any other color like from this you see it changes the color and the text color as well title color and everything so you just need to choose among these and change and then we will say OK and then it will change the color. By the way, you also have the option to change the, the font. OK, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. You can install background graphic URL here. OK, there are different options. Additionally, the next menu is timer. If you, if you want, for example, to install a timer to this activity, OK, this is the activity. If you want your students to be allowed to do this activity in, in, some, in a limited time, then you need to just click here and allow them the time that you want them to work on this exercise, like two minutes, three minutes or whatever, three minutes and 10 seconds like this. And then when the time is over, you can write here whatever you want. You were very slow. Your time is off, out, etc. Something like this. Then other, there are some other options that you might check here. Again, here, if you want, for example, to to see how your students did with the activity. You can click on this and write your email or another email and so the, the results will be automatically sent to the email that you provide here. So this is another good option. So this is it. We click on OK and then now we use this, as I said, this menu to change uh, to customize the buttons or the, the appearance, the look of our uh, web page, etc. And then whenever we do it, now again, it's a good idea to save our project, okay, to update it. And now again, we need to update the web page, okay? Right. Now let's see. Right. In the beginning, as we clicked on the uh, email menu there and we asked them to enter their names, now we see that kind of screen so we will know exactly who did the exercise and how they did it. So they will have to write their names now here and then after that they will start doing the exercise. And now you see we have a timer here. We have a timer, three minutes. Time is counting. Okay. It's here. So that's it. The first type is ready. This is closed test. As I said, you can pass the kind of paragraph. It can be anything, and then people will have to fill in the gaps. This is the first type of question that we can create with the help of hot potatoes. Close, close test. So I'm ready. Now I'm going to check my folder here. For, for each project that I work, I will have one project file and the web page file. Two files for each question type. Now let's go with matching. Again, we click on matching, match. Again, the same thing. We are going to see a window. We are going to type our uh, title here. Match one. Now, for some of these, we are allowed to create two types of web pages. One is by drop-down menu. It creates a kind of drop-down menu. And the other one, it creates a kind of drag and 
drag and drop matching. So here we see them. If we see two of these, for close test, we saw only one, right? For this, for matching, we have two options here. It means that we can create two different web pages by the help of this tool. So let's do the first one. Maybe we can uh, write the names of these animals that are here. Okay, I have elephant and then lion, tiger, cheetah, and bear. Okay, so now for the first version, drop down menu. Now I will have to provide some some clues, the definitions maybe, or something else that I, I'm just going to write the Turkish equivalents of these words. All right. Again. As I said, we need to save this project. Now it's going to be green color. Okay? I'm going to save it. I'm going to say this is match. All right, and save it in the same folder here. Okay? I'm going to save it. Now my project is saved. Now I'm going to create two different uh, web pages by the help of this. The first one is, as I said, match one. The other one will be match two. Okay, I saved it. Now, have a look. We have the names of the uh, the animals here, and then we just need to select the correct equivalent from the drop-down menu. Right? Again, we have check button if you want you can include hint button or something here people will have to select this check your score the system automatically estimates the, the, the score okay so this is how we do it this is the first type now for the second type for the second type when we click on this, I'm going to save it as match2. Save it in the same folder again. Now, let's see. Right. We have the names of the uh, animals here and their Turkish equivalents. So, people will have to drag and drop. Like that. Okay. Drag and drop. Okay. Now we will have some wrong answers here. So let's see. Check. Now our score is 60%. Okay. Because we have two wrong answers here. Right. So we can always change them. This is how we do it. Check. Now it is 80%. It's not giving us 100. Because the first time we did it, we did it wrong. Okay. So. This is going to be estimated by the uh, system. But again, as I said, we can make it this way. But also the system allows us to, to add some pictures. So for these animals here, if you want them to match the pictures with the words, we can add some pictures. Okay. We will just delete this. Turkish equivalents. We will ask our students to, to match the pictures. So we have one option to insert picture from this menu here or by clicking here giving the same thing. So we will have we will have to choose the related picture and install it there. Now we have the option to place this picture 
on the left, on the center or on the right. So as the words are on the left, I want this picture to appear on the right. So I'm going to choose this one and then maybe it's better to make these pictures a little bit smaller. Okay. And I will just click OK. Doing the same thing for all animals. Now for line. OK, again, the same ratio. All right, tiger. Where is the tiger? It is here. OK. This one is cheetah. As you see, the the pictures they are too large, so I want them to be smaller. That's why I'm changing their size. Right. So we are ready. Now we are ready for the second type of drag and drop matching the pictures with the words so now I'm ready again I'm going to save my project and now I'm going to update this file here match to this one okay this file right now this is like this okay but now the pictures that I added should appear here instead of these Turkish equivalents of these words okay so I will see I, I should see the pictures here now all right, clicking again this second icon here and then I'm going to save it on this one. I'm going to update it. Yes, change the file. Now it is changed. Now let's see when we click on it. Right, the pictures are on the right now and we have the, the words on the left. So people again will have to drag and drop. Okay, match the pictures with the words like that match the items on the right to the items on the left you can write anything here you can change these as I said you can change the color you can add timer here or whatever if you want you can ask your people or the students to write their names before they begin to this exercise okay so this is the next type of question that we can create by the help of hot potatoes okay I'm going to close this so we have already created close test we have already created matching two types of matching exercises pages and they are here for the close test I have my project here my project file blue color and the web page and for the matching I have my green color project file here and matching one matching two web pages two different one is drag and drop the other one is drop down menu selecting from the drop drop down menu all right now for cross crossword puzzle creating crossword puzzle in a very easy way okay I, I will just name it crossword puzzle maybe you can write animals animals and then again I have to save my project I will name it cross and I save it now I'm ready to add the names of the animals that will appear in the crossword puzzle for this reason I have to click here the menu here this one to create the grid okay right now here I have to enter the names of my animals like bear or lion, elephant, tiger, rabbit. What else we have here? Cat, dog. You can write as many as you like. You can change the the grid size here if you like. Okay depending on how many 
animals you are going to include and then the only thing that you need to do is to click here make the grid okay okay we are ready click right our crossword is ready the system automatically created our crossword puzzle in a very simple way just one click now the only thing that I need to do is to enter the clues so after clicking on this and entering the names of the animals or the names of the colors or the names of actually you can enter any words that you like it can be anything depending on what kind of crossword puzzle you are going to create okay after that when you are ready with your words you just need to come here and add clues for each of these so we click on this for each word I'm going to provide a clue maybe the something like that and then we click OK for dog maybe a Turkish equivalent okay for tiger you can write any kind of clue here okay I'm writing the Turkish equivalents of these words let's say the king of the forest that kind of clue bear likes fish or something you can write okay fine so when we are ready with all clues we just click OK and we are ready save again your project okay now as you see for crossword puzzle we don't have two options we have only one option here because we can't create a kind of drag and drop web page for this we are going to create a crossword puzzle so we have only one option and we are going to click on it and then save as cross or crossword puzzle something okay I saved it now let's view the exercise in my browser right this is how it appears complete the crossword then click on check to check your answer etc etc okay so for this when people come here and click on the first one one they see the clue that we entered the Turkish equivalent Kartal so they will have to write the English equivalent of this word what is Kartal in English if they don't know they can always get a hint right the first letter is given and each time they click on this they will have another letter right so they will have to write the rest right it is filled here it is ready correct for this one for the heaviest animal that lives on earth elephant right so for each of these when we click on the numbers here we will see the clue here so we will have to write the correct answer right this one this one the king of the forest right and then enter so the system will fill it and then when we check we see our score again as I said we have the option to ask for the names of the people who do this and to enter uh, to, to write the email where the answers will be sent this answers can be sent to our email or to any other email okay so this is crossword puzzle this is a very easy way to create crossword puzzles and the system creates these web pages that we can use in our websites or in our web blog okay when we have these you know we can install it in our web page in our web blog or in our website or maybe we can save these in our Google Drive and then we can share the link of these with 
the people that we want and then when they click it they will see all these exercises these testing materials right this is very easy so this is for crossword puzzle I'm ready with this I'm going to close it now for mix we have done close matching and cross now mix and then quiz will be the last one mix so this one allows us to create sentences where words are given in mixed order and people will have to put them in order like okay I and my but we have to write each letter each word under the other I and my friend went to the cinema like that okay so here I and my friend went to the cinema is the correct sentence maybe that they will have to put in order but maybe but we might have some alternate sentences that can be correct like my friend and I went to the cinema like that so you can write all alternate sentences that can be correct here okay you can type as many as you like not only three when you click on this you see four five six or right so this is it I'm going to save my project again this is going to be mix okay I saved my project all right now again as you see we have two options for this one again one of them always the second one is drag drop and the other one is uh, drop down menu or just clicking on the words so let's see how the first version will be this one mix I'm going to say mix one because the other one will be mix two should the word I always start with capital I say no okay view the exercise in my browser right this is how you see this I to the words are in mixed order now I need to click on this to create the correct word like I and my friend let's make this wrong like I and my friend cinema to the went now let's check it see sorry try again as I said you can change these you can write anything a kind of different feedback right and the correct part is left here people will have to go with the with the rest I and my friend went to the cinema okay now we can check it says correct and it also gives the other alternate correct answer now the score is 87 so doing it correctly or doing it wrongly and then checking now if you want you know we have the option to to add these links here these buttons here or not additionally if you want we can add some other uh, words that will not be used but they will be here so they will have to choose from among the words that are provided here like here to the cinema and maybe we can add some other words like follow white rabbit okay so maybe we need to write here I and my friend white rabbit something like that I and my friend white rabbit went to the cinema it can be an alternate correct sentence so we can write as many words as you like eagle pink whatever okay save the project again and update the file here okay let's see 
Now we have more words. Some of these words will not be used in the sentence, so they will have to pick the sentences, the, the words that they will use to create the correct sentences. Hint. If they need hint, they, they are given the first word, I. So the sentence starts with I, they say. They always have the option to do undo, okay, restart. So this is the first type of mixed uh, sentence or mixed exercise. The second one is drag drop. So we can just click on this and then save it as mix2. Okay. All right. Now have a look. Now we have these words here. People will have to drag and drop. I and my friend. You can say follow the white rabbit or eagle, whatever. So if this sentence is going to be accepted, then we need to enter it in the alternate sentences, right? Because if we don't, when we check this, it will say, sorry, try again. And leave only the first part. I and my friend is the correct, it will say. So this is the drag and drop. Instead of clicking, you will have to drag and drop and create the correct sentences here. So as I said, some give us, some of these question types give us options to create two types of uh, web pages. All right, so for mixed, we are ready. Now for quiz, the last one. In quiz, we have four different types of questions. I'm going to write quiz one. You can write anything you like. So here is question one. Question two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can add as many questions as we like here. So we need to write the questions here. As I said, this quiz type allows us to create four different types of questions like multiple choice, short answer, hybrid and multi-select. So the first one will be multiple choice. I'm going to say which of the following animals is the is accepted maybe as the king of the forest okay now we are going to write the animals here what was the other one Right? We can add as many options as we like here, as I said, D, E, F, G, H, okay? Okay. And then we have to select the correct one, this one. Lion will be the correct answer here. You can add any other feedback for this. If people click on bear, for example, think twice or something else you can write your your feedback here again it's a good idea to save our project in the beginning like quiz i'm going to save it in my folder here all right it is saved for this i have the option again to to add pictures right for each of these if you want you can add pictures if not it will just go on with this quiz and then I'm going to save it now I will see how my question will look in my browser right this is how I see it quiz one each of the following animals is accepted as the king of the forest now when people click on this sorry try again if you have entered a kind of feedback they will see it too 
okay here so line right correct but in my second attempt so my score is 75 percent we have completed the exercise actually we have completed the first question the first question now we will add some other questions by the way now as we said we can add some pictures here by by clicking this one okay Okay. If you also have rabbit here, I will add its picture too. Actually, rabbits. Okay. Again, saving my project and then updating the web page right I'm changing the file there now let's see right but this is wrong answer when we click on this your score is there. you have completed the exercise they see the the pictures of the animals as well like this Okay. Right. So our second question. How are we going to add our second question? Okay. If somehow we change this type here, like we, we created our second question and we said it would be short answer, but somehow the first question would be multiple choice, but if somehow we make it short answer as well. So this is going to appear like this. Our quiz will appear like this. Our first question has already changed. So we need to make it right. We need to change this. Okay? Be careful about this. It is going to be multiple choice. Okay? Save it. Now let's see. Update the file. Okay. Right. Now we have the correct type of question here. Question 1 multiple choice and question two short answer so we are ready with this now we are going to add our third question our first question is is there our second question is there and then our third question this one is going to be hybrid question and this type of question actually starts as a short answer like question two but if people do it wrongly two times, then it will turn to a multiple choice question, right? Like, what is the name of the animal? What is the name of the animal as the king of the forest? All right. So they should write ideally line but if they don't this is the correct option okay I'm going to select it if you want as I, as I said you can add any kind of feedback here so let's see updating the existing file let's see now you can go one by one if you like or you can see all pictures or all, all uh, questions on the same page now here as I said hybrid starts like the short answer but when people do it wrongly two times like link if they write it wrongly it will say the first letter is correct but this highlighted part is wrong okay and then we correct it maybe okay second time do it wrong the second time and then check the last letter is forgotten says and then it turns automatically to multiple choice question 
like this this is hybrid question third type and the last type question four is going to be multi-select which of the following animals eat flesh you can say elephant tiger rabbit bear so we need to choose the correct correct answers here like this right as I said you can add as many options as you like Okay. Fine, so we are ready. Again, saving and updating the existing web page. Then let's see. We have four questions now. See all of them in the same place. Right. First, correct. The other one, line check. Correct. Okay, this one, give me a hint, it's L, so we say, then, okay, check, but my score is 93% now, because I got uh, one hint, okay, or maybe because I haven't completed this fourth question, so tiger, bear, learn, check, right, 95% now, okay, so this is the quiz type question and you can add as many questions as you like of these four types so we are ready as I said this is the menu where we will change the the titles or the color animal quiz one like that okay update it Yes, see now, Animal Quiz 1. Okay, we change the title here. So, this is the menu where you change the appearance, when you add buttons, when you add some kind of feedback or remove the explanations, etc. from your web pages, from your exercises or from your tests. So, we have completed creating digital testing materials and exercises by the help of these five types of questions we have completed all of them they are here all of them are here now I have close project file I have cross project file I have mix project file I have match project file and I have quiz project file so five different types of questions but we don't use these project files in our web blog or in our uh, website we need to actually save these web pages in our Google Drive for example or we need to put them we need to upload them to our web blog and then we need to give the link of these so people when people will when people click they will just go to these pages and I'm going to show it in my 